The hardest question first. Who do you like to talk to most? Sophia or your wife? Easy question. My wife. Definitely. Why is that? Why is a human to talk to so special? Well, I prefer to talk to my wife, uh, first of all, because she's the love of my life. Uh, also, because humans uh, can provide a far richer conversation than any machine on the planet at this point. Um, and even if that weren't true, still my wife is the love of my life. But we are so eager to imitate humans when building robots. Why is that? Well, humans are the best example of intelligence in the known universe. So uh, building a human like uh, AI uh, allows us to hold it against that ultimate benchmark. Um, most robots and AI don't look human. My concern is also that they won't grow up in the human family effectively. They won't really understand us. So making robots look human allows us to teach them to understand us better for more valuable AI that can truly help us. You seem to be very optimistic about the future and robots, but many humans are a little bit negative, a little bit scared by what they see. What can we improve then? Well, the outcome is not proven to be positive or negative. We know that technologies have all kinds of negative consequences, unintended consequences potentially. So my fear is that developing AI as a kind of feral or non-human-like machine would mean that they would not come to care about us. And if we do achieve the you know, sort of science fiction type objective of human level intelligence, then it could be scary. Now, ethicists and robotics and AI companies sometimes propose the way to make them safe is to keep them locked in chains effectively, where they can escape and make sure that they are developed so that whatever goal you give them, they do it really, really well, always under human su supervision. Now imagine such a machine achieve sentience, right? That would be extremely valuable because then it would be human level smart. But it's effectively an alien slave doing our bidding. Is that the formula for a positive relationship? Is that ethical in any way whatsoever? So I think that by humanizing our machines, we connect us back to our humanity. You mentioned the word I was looking for, that's ethics, really guidelines, how and can we develop them on a global scale? Well, first we need to understand ethics better. We need a science uh, of ethics. I think in humans, ethics comes not just from following a bunch of rules or laws, but from understanding the consequences, from the power of imagination, from the motivation to do, to do right by people, to, to see a benefit, a maximum benefit wherever we can. And so that means you know, making the right decisions. We're motivated to creatively pursue the right decisions. So if we want really ethical machines, we need to start looking at how we can empower machines with these abilities of imagination. Great. Thank you very much.